you got there, bud? What's that? This is the uh, oil filter housing. Yeah, you can't show us now, but it had some pretty neat stuff inside, right? Yeah, AC filter PF7. Yeah. They uh, started using this in 1960. 1960? Yeah. What did they do in 59? 59 has a cartridge filter on top of the engine. Oh, yeah. Cool. Partial flow. This first year for 60s, the first year for full flow. Full flow. Yeah, yeah okay. That's really neat. So what's really It also crazy. says 62 in there somewhere, right? You yeah, so maybe see it's it. a uh, date code. Now, what about this filter? Is, is it an obsolete number that they don't use anymore? Yeah, or, PF7, uh, they don't use. Then it went to a PF30, which they don't use anymore. And we went and got these PH11s. Right. On closeout with a window box. Wow. And they fit all sorts of weird things. AMCs, Studebaker, Jeep. Kaiser Jeeps. Not Buick, Jeeps, but Kaiser Jeeps. Buick Stolbolts. Who's this guy Kaiser? I don't know. And a May 64 Studebaker. Oh, holy May, yeah. Uh, GMC. Boy, you know, you got a lot of losers there. Oh, yeah. Cadillac's in there. Uh, oh, well, huh? Not all losers, I guess. There you go. As we're going to paint it up now. This is its uh, original original blue, original paint. Cleaned all the grease off of it and... Uh, all right. Everything. And actually, i actually seen it where it says... Um, you know, what do you call it in there, right? Oh, you're going to pull it apart? We'll have, have to you reveal it. it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Much later. Much later. Because once you paint it, that's that. That's it. It's going to have to sit for a while. All right, tell us about the paint now. Show us the paint. Okay, this is the uh, definitive uh, Cadillac blue paint. Bill Hirsch, engine enamel. Okay, now you had to make him make it? No, it's made. It's already made. It's already made. You can order online, have it delivered to your house. Go down to Newark, New Jersey, and pick it up in person. Uh, aerosol is like seventeen dollars a can. It's a little more expensive than uh, conventional aerosol paint, but you're buying an aircraft grade enamel that resists heat very well and is the exact color and gloss that you need. Well, let me ask you another stupid question. You've seen a lot of '62 Cadillacs. How many have the wrong color engine? At least fifty percent. And they use the the Either industry blue, right? Whatever it's called, blue, corporate blue. Which is from 77 and up. Right. And then I've also seen some engines have this odd color. It's like a aqua, weird blue. And I have a suspicion that the engine was rebuilt at some point in its life. And the rebuilder had this blue color and they painted the whole engine with it. I just looked at a 63 like that. And the whole engine was like that. Telephone! Who could that be? One of your, uh... It's Jay! We have a phone in on our video. Oh, well, what about speaker? Yeah, we're uh, taping a video right now. We have a phone in, uh... Guest here, Jay. Evil Jay. What can you say for yourself, Jay? No, no, you don't want to know. Yeah, I'm sure. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it wasn't too bad by the hour there. It's only half a disaster. I'm glad to hear that. Um, yeah, me too. Me too, because otherwise I gotta hear it from both ends, you know? Yeah, those are big ends to hear it from. Yeah, I hate when you yeah, get it from, in both ends. Jim, and then luckily, uh, the, the one that owns the car doesn't have my number, you know? Well, aren't you lucky with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how clean is that uh, oil filter adapter? You could eat off it. You could eat off of it at the moment. Oh, well, that's good. Not me, but you could. So I'm going to give it a fresh coat of paint now. That's cool. And uh, then I'm going to proceed with my shock replacement. It started pouring when I did the, after I did the first shock. Of course. I'll tell you, though, the easiest shocks I've ever removed, the bolts were like... I, I could have used a quarter-inch uh, ratchet and just, like, twisted them loose. They were so loose on nice. top. Well, I got a new one. They got eight inch ratchets coming out now. I'll get you one of those for the call. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be good. You break the break an extension in half. Yeah, that's good. Well, it's nice that you don't have to use a torch to burn everything apart. I know, because I've heard of these rear shocks being total nightmares because they're right up against the floorboard and there's no room up there. Yep, yep. Gotta use two wrenches and then you gotta pull it a little bit, spray it, and the rust comes in your face. Just like working on real cars, yep. 
Yeah, this is fake car. I get sand in my face from the beach or something. Yeah, well, it's like when you have a repair shop and all kinds of crap comes in, then you end up uh, having to, you know, get get hosed down after you do so many jobs. Well, let me uh, go here. I got a can of paint in my hand, and I'll give you a call a little later when I'm uh, wrapped up here. Okay, very good. All right? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Phoning, phone phoning. Right. Okay. Now, what are we talking about? This paint. This paint. Yeah. This paint. Bill Hirsch, engine enamel. So uh, the the story, uh, long story short, is he was a Packard guy, and back in the '60s, there was no paint that was the correct color and sheen available for Packard engines. So he had some connection and had a quantity of paint made up to paint his Packard engines. Right. Evidently, it was like you know 25 gallons or something he had had made up. So he had leftovers. He sold it to all his Packard buddies. It was so successful that this aircraft quality enamel that he had made was so successful that he decided to start selling it commercially to everybody or retail. He started to sell it retail to everybody and uh, it took off so then he started producing paints for all other engines so you can get paint from him for just about any engine. Okay. And you can get dark blue and you can get corporate blue from him. Oh, I'm blurring it out. Right. Okay. So we're gonna, gonna give it a little shot. All right, give it a shot there. Very nice blue. A little less faded than the original blue that we saw there. What did you clean this with that uh, you're applying the paint? We uh, cleaned it with uh, gel degreaser and then lacquer thinner. Okay. Until the rags look sort of clean. All right. And there you have it. All right. Now you're going to let that dry overnight. Let it dry overnight at least. Right. And throw it on the engine and then... Throw in this pH uh, 11, 11 Fram filter. The closest thing you can get nowadays that's available. pH oh, 11. Okay. Close out dollar twenty each on Rock Auto currently, and you get this vintage packaging with the window. Okay. See you around. See Have ya. fun. See you down the road.